one volcano, three million people. You think the whole city should be evacuated? Absolutely, yes. Vesuvius. Today threatening to submerge an entire city. Just like it did ancient Pompeii. You must know uh, which uh, is the, the scale of a possible catastrophe in a volcano like this. Mm. This is the most dangerous volcano in the world. Mount Vesuvius looms over the sprawling city of Naples like a brooding, angry giant. Ah, the mountain is, uh, looks like a quiet mountain, but uh, it, it is a, a monster. And watching its every mood is volcanologist Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo. It looks very ominous, looming over the city like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it could be quiet for centuries or even for some thousand years, but in a few days it can erupt. And when Europe's most dangerous volcano has erupted, the consequences have been disastrous. On the morning of August 24, 79 AD, the people of ancient Pompeii were ambushed by a titanic force of nature. Here you can see the, the last moments of these victims. You can see exactly uh, their attitude, the, 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 the shape of their bodies, what, what they try to, to do in the last moment before their death. People cemented in stone by the boiling ash. Mothers, fathers, children. 20,000 inhabitants of a thriving Roman city. Chilling reminders to volcanologist Claudio Scarpati of the devastating power and speed Vesuvius can unleash. The material erupted during this eruption was one cubic kilometer. One cubic kilometer of magma was erupted just in few hours. Today, Pompeii's ghost-ridden alleyways cry out a warning to the modern city around it, Naples. Do you think an eruption as catastrophic as Pompeii will happen again? Unfortunately, it's strongly possible. The volcano is, is active and is, 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 of course, dangerous. Vesuvius's awesome power is generated by the explosive impact of the African and European tectonic plates. Along that immense fault line are seven active Italian volcanoes, four on the ocean floor and three on land. Vesuvius, the so-called supervolcano Campi Flagre, and Mount Etna. Southern Italy is surrounded by a ring of fire. It is home to Europe's only active volcanoes. Mount Etna, here in Sicily, is in a state of almost continuous eruption. Yet, for all its spectacle, this is not the mountain that has volcanologists most worried. That dubious honour is reserved for Vesuvius, the most closely watched volcano on the planet. And is all, that the epicenter? And there are the last epicenters of the last mm -hmm. events. Here at the Vesuvius Control Centre, Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo analyzes seismic, infrared, and visual monitors spread across the crater and slopes for every sign, every rumble of activity. Each of these dots represents some sort of minor seismic activity. Minor seismic activity. So baby Common, tremors. Common, normal uh, mm. seismic activity, single event. So each mm. dot is a single event. And so all... you would know about any minor change with this volcano the moment it happened? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So the volcano is quiet, but we know that at any time we can have uh, the, uh, a new crisis. So we must be ready. 
In this tussle between man and mountain, Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo can't rely on instruments alone. He must get up close with the menace of Vesuvius. This immense crater was caused by the explosive power of more than 100,000 nuclear bombs. A ticking time bomb. Yeah, yeah, this is a, a ticking bomb uh, because we are just to wait uh, for the crisis. But today, down in this cauldron, there's only an eerie stillness. How deep is the crater? Well, the crater is between 200 and 250 metres deep. Mm. Ten kilometres beneath our feet, in the belly of the beast, is a massive magma chamber with enough force for a hundred Pompeii-sized eruptions. How quickly could that magma reach the surface? Uh, this is a very important question because uh, we have uh, uh, demonstrated that magma can uh, rise from the magma chamber to the surface uh, uh, even in a few hours. This is a sleeping monster, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> but it's also the way this monster erupts that makes Vesuvius such a dangerous breed. Its sudden and massive explosions of magma and gas are similar to the devastating eruptions of America's Mount St. Helens in 1980 and Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines in 1991, one of the biggest ever eruptions recorded. The difference with Vesuvius is that three million people are directly beneath it. Do you think these people understand the threat they live with every day? Uh, no, I don't think so. What would this place look like in the middle of an eruption? Well, in the middle of an eruption, uh, this, this place will, will be um, terrible because there, there will be uh, ash and gas, uh, uh, rolling rocks, and, and everything will be in the absolute darkness because of the, the amount of fine ash dispersed in the, in the air. But this mountain, which has been so destructive, is also extremely productive. The Acampora family grows tomatoes in the volcano's fertile soil, living in the shadow of Vesuvius for 300 years. So Rosa and Gennaro's forebears have glimpsed the wrath of Vesuvius in 1906 and, most recently, in 1944. Her mother tells a story of how it was uh, daytime and then it just became dark. They know enough to know Vesuvius is overdue for a major eruption, but they have no intention of leaving. They don't want to move anywhere else. They like to live under the Vesuvius. This is their home. And it's not just the Acamporas who are ambivalent. So too, it seems, is the entire city of Naples, only a small section of which is covered by an official evacuation plan. Those planning the evacuation of Naples in the event of an eruption say it's highly unlikely that Vesuvius will ever blow with the same force as it did in AD 79. But in the volcano's deeper past, there is evidence of an eruption even more cataclysmic than the one that destroyed Pompeii. Uh, our evidence is on the past eruptions of Vesuvius. Uh, this zone must include all the town of Naples uh, and to the north, all the villages up to a distance uh, of about 20 kilometers. Mm. So all of this will be wiped yeah, off the map, potentially? Absolutely, absolutely. And it's not in the evacuation no, zone? There is no emergency plan for Naples at the moment. Volcanoes do not keep the time of men. Vesuvius may remain a sleeping giant for centuries. The nearby supervolcano Campi Flagre might blow tomorrow. While Etna is in a state of near constant eruption, becoming ever more explosive. But their lesson is certain. Those who ignore history 
are condemned to suffer it again. My job is to, uh, to describe what happened in the past, which is the key uh, in order to know what will uh, happen in the future. This is science, this is geology. And if it happened once, you're saying it can happen again? Yes, absolutely. Naples will be completely devastated. Gone? Gone. Hello, I'm Alison Langdon. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.